hello students my name is shivani trivedi today i am going to uh, discuss with you full adder using pal pal is pal is your programmable array logic in this video we are going to discuss about full adder and then after that we discuss about full adder implementation using pal so what is full adder full adder is basically used to add three when one bit number it has three inputs and two outputs like in half adder it is used to add two it is used to add two one bit number so in half adder there are two inputs and two outputs likewise in full adder there are three inputs and two outputs see like you can see here that in full adder there are two three inputs are your a a b c in and your uh, output are sum and carry so from this so the for implementation you already i already discussed in full adder implementation using pla you that your first step is to make the truth table so uh, first we made the truth table of full adder so there are three inputs so total there are uh, so total there are eight combination you can see here that this is a truth table of full adder there are three inputs so there are so there are total eight combinations 0 to 1 1 1 we add 0 plus 0 plus 0 will sum give, give you 0 and carry output will give you 0. 0 plus 0 will give, gives you 0 and 0 plus 1 will give you sum 1 and carry 0. Likewise, you complete this full adder table and after that from this table, we see the min terms for sum and carry. So, for sum, min terms is for sum For some, min terms is 1, 2, 4, 7. And for carry output, min terms is 3, 5, 6, 7. Min terms means you can see from the output where it is high. So that is your min terms. From min terms, we have to derive the expression by putting 1 at this min term position to get derived the logical expression from K map. So I may I am going to make the K map for some and carry both. So there are total three variables. So eight variables came up. So we get the single grouping. No pair, no quad, no octet. So th this is checkboard configuration. You already know about this. This is checkboard configuration. And what is the expression for sum? For example, we will get A bar, B bar, C plus a bar B C bar plus A B bar C bar plus A B C. Similarly, I am going to make the K map for C output. So for C output, again the three variable K map because there is three, three inputs. So one, 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 one. So we get three pairs. And for this expression is B C plus A B plus A C. Now, uh, I already discussed in the video of PAL, that's PA in PAL, AND gate is programmable. AND gate is programmable, but the OR gate is fixed. Or this is this is why it is sim there, there is simplicity because OR gate is fixed, but this, uh, there is one disadvantage that because OR gate is fixed and one AND gate is programmable, it is not flexible like PLA. It is not flexible like PAL, PLA. So, uh, we get the expression for sum and carry. So, there are total three uh, variables, A, B, C. So, number of input buffer we require equal to number of variables. So, we require number of input variable equal to three. And uh, to, there are four min terms in sum and three min terms in carry output. So, we have to see highest number of min terms. There are four min terms. And there are three, three min terms. Highest is four. So we require in PAL four programmable AND gate for each, for sum also and for the carry also. Uh, no matters. We require we require only three gates, but the one gate got free. But uh, this is a rule of PAL that we see the highest number of min terms. So highest number of min terms is is four. 
and uh, so we require four programmable AND gate for sum and four programmable AND gate for carry output. So let's move towards the circuit implementation. Uh, here I write the equation for sum and carry, which uh, we derive uh, now, just now. So let's make the circuit. So we require three input buffer because there are three variables. A, B. What is input buffer? You, we, I already discussed in the video of PLA and PAL both. I extend this lines. My drawing is not that perfect. So uh, we require four programmable AND gate for sum and for carry both. Total number of AND gates we require eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many OR gate we require? We require two OR gate, one for sum and one for carry. This is for sum. And similarly, here this is for carry. This is for sum and this is for carry. Yes, uh, so uh, first we take the expression for sum, A bar. A bar is this, A bar, B bar, and C. Mark the cross here. Then A bar, B, C bar. Then next, A, B bar, C bar. Next, A, B, and C. So we get the, uh, by here, we put the circuit intact. This dot indicates that your OR gate is fixed. So these four expression, these four lines, these four dots symbolizes that this is, this gives you the expression for sum. Similarly, for carry output, we will see B, C, and A, B. A, B, and A, C. A and C. This gate is free because uh, there are three min terms only. So one gate is free and we do not mark any cross or dot here. For free gate, for free, free gate, we use the fuse intact. For free gate, we use the fuse intact. Okay. So this gate is free. And this dot, this dot, and this dot will give you carry out. So this is the uh, circuit implementation of full adder using PAL. And this is the very most common question asked in the university examination. These are the references. You can see uh, this topic in detail from here. Thank you.